into the queue, as well as any other staff, Beanie and X, Y, and Z. Now, <clears throat> Sybil is the owner of an agency called The Creatives. The Creatives is an agency that is owned by a certain individual named Hood. Now, Hood is someone, season me, y'all. Season me before I bring Sizzle up. Season me, y'all. Now, Hood is a man who owns an agency in three different countries, the United States of America, South America, as in, I'm sorry, the UK and South Africa. This is the agency owner right here, The Creatives. This is his name right here, Hood, okay? Now follow me because I'm gonna let Sybil up to explain everything right after this. What this is, is a text message <clears throat> of Hood, explaining how much, I mean, sorry, LM agency, LM agency. Um, what this, what I'm about to show you is a, is a text message of how much this man owes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring civil up and we're going to start from beginning to end. Currently, the host of this agency, that this, um, the host in this agency, which is over 250 people, currently cannot re-audition, cannot be released, cannot move. Because right now, they are under investigation with over 250 hosts because the agency owner has not responded in months. Not only has the agency owner has not responded in months, they have not paid over $35,000 to the people and the staff who work for this agency. We're going to listen to a play-by-play -play of everything I'm about to show you, and Sybil's going to tell us exactly what happened and why all of these hosts before the 15th are currently looking for agencies. After this story happens, I'm then going to let different agency owners come up so that all of the hosts in this agency with 250 plus people with over 100 active hosts can sort their options and look for different agencies to go to within the next few days. Here's a message between the two. If drawn to minds, it would be different as I would know for a fact. This has not come and I don't need to. My dog needs to see the vet. I have things that I need to take care of and you've burned a lot. Trust bridges lately. Please show me specifically what's going on. Now, this is months ago from the agency owner. Look. 15,000 plus 2,500 plus 3,500 equals 21,000. I promised 15,000, then another 5,000. I'm just looking for the screenshots. It has not my, which has been very, very, um, uh, has been, uh, was seven days ago when the rewards button is locked. X, Y, and Z, the last of that conversation was February 17th, 2021. Hello? no response and this is just for one of the workers of that agency now if hood would like to show up to this live he's more than welcome but i'm going to let civil up to take us through everything that happened from beginning to end and now before i do that because this is a very brave woman who has a very brave story can y'all get me to 250 and can y'all please get her to 50? Run it the fuck up as we go. Please run it the fuck up as we go. He gifted you before? Yes. Now this agency has over 250 people in three different countries. Not only does it have 250 people in three different countries, the UK, as well as the United States of America and South Africa, the last time this agency owner was seen was during payday. And he seen throwing gifts on the girl of the ranch. And then he was never seen again. The reason why they were able to find out that he was seen is because when they saw, can y'all run me up? Don't, can y'all run me up too? Shit, run me up too. He was throwing gifts on the girls from the bunny ranch. Not only were they able to find that out, they found out that he was throwing those gifts because they saw that his gift sending increased. Only on payday. Now I'm gonna let Sybil say everything that happened, but do understand that Bego, the top, top, top people of Bego have sent out 
a letter to this person saying you have 15 days to respond before we release all of those hosts. I don't know where the $35,000 is going. I don't know if it's ever going to be paid. Sybil, let's start from the beginning, like we talked about before. Can y'all run me up? Run me up. Get Sybil to 20. Can y'all give me to like 240? Run me up and I'm going to unmute her. Oh, she wants to stay. Sorry, I'll stay in the big box. <clears throat> Run me up, y'all, and we're going to unmute her. Am I saying it wrong? Hold up. Well, well, hold up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, uh, hold up. Can y'all run me up? I'm going to unmute her, and we're going to talk about it from the beginning to the end. I don't know if it's clash action, but Sybil's not the only one. The $35,000 is without paying other people in the agency. There's the production. I mean, there's the promotion people. There's the recruiting people. There's people. This young lady alone is owed over $8,000 individually. So when she gets up here, she's going to explain from the beginning to the end. And his name is Hood. He has not paid them since September. And he's been missing since February. Run me up, run me up, run me up, and I'm going to unmute her. I see a lot of the hosts that are in this agency, that you guys who are here, what I'm going to do after this is when F Sybil's finished, I'm then going to let up agency owners so that you guys have the option for them to promote who they are so you can follow them so that when you are released, that you can go and have conversations with them and choose who to go to. If you would like to promote your agency at the end of this segment, you can drop five shields on me and you will get two minutes or you can drop a dragon and you will get five minutes. Okay. Run me up y'all. Give me the 240 and get civil to 20. Come on y'all. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. I'm going to unmute you in just a second, Sybil. Run me up. Two over 250 hosts, over 250 hosts, over $35,000. That this, and you guys just saw the text message. That's a text message of them saying that they owe more than $21,000. Thank you, mother. Okay, Sybil. Yes, y'all, run me up, run me up. Okay, Sybil, let's start from the beginning. Hey, so, hi, everybody. I'm Sybil. I'm the manager. Oh, sorry. I'm the manager of l &M. Let me swap these because that's super distracting. I'm the manager of l &M Agency. Um, I have been working with Hood since February of last year. Um, there are a couple of people, I believe, in the queue that also want to come up. Yep, but they'll come um, right after you. I want you to go take perfect. it through from beginning to end. The oh. I see some of the workers. The workers are in the queue as lo along with some of the hosts in the queue. <clears throat> okay, so um, whenever I came on, I came on to this agency. Um, from a, a friend of ours recruited me in. Um, whenever I came in, it took me two weeks to even know whether or not we had a contract. Um, I saw a lot of issues. There was no training. There was there was no structure. So I came in and I um, made made big moves. Um, I cleaned it up, gave us a structure, etc. Um, however. And we were all agreed to be paid um, a certain amount. And I was not the only one working on this, but I'm keeping other names out of it as much as possible. Unless they come up themselves, I won't shout them out. Mm -hmm. um, don't think that I did this on my own. Um, so once that happened, um, the first time we went on strike was in June because we had not been paid at all. I had never seen anything. Um, and I started my work with them in April. So at that point, um, myself and the entire staff went on strikes. Um, none of the recruiters had been paid. Um, sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, messages at the same time. So none of the recruiters had been paid. We had to start out from scratch. It took him months to pay us back from that like initial 
problem. We had to fire staff. We had to rehire other staff. We had to start all fresh with new recruiters um, and build it back up again. Um, and myself, the other manager, and the the marketing manager and the events manager handled that. Um, Hood was only privy to uh, like a need to know basis. Um, even when there was no staff, he still would not answer his host um, unless they were a top host. So this has always been a really big concern of ours. Um, we wanted to be more available. Um, so after that, he was okay for a couple of months once we got fully caught up. And then um, after that, in, in October, in September, things started sliding. Sorry, August and September, I started having to pay recruiters out of pocket because he would send the staff money over, but not the recruiter money. Um, so I would send out the recruiter's pay out of my pay mm -hmm. so that they could keep their bills going. And then they would come back. He would come back and pay me the following month. Mm -hmm. And then it would happen over and over again. Um, and that lasted up until November, which is the last time we received any payment and we were paid up in full. Mm -hmm. In November, we received payment for our October's work and whatever else had been owed previously. He went to Africa at that point in time um, and was not, was having some serious issues with communication, internet. It was, it was internet. It was um, electricity. It was one thing after another, after another, his, um, somebody broke his charger. It was, it was always some sort of, um, always some sort of explanation. In, um, I, I thought he had died. Let me be clear. I, I've, I saw that in the comments before I popped up. He's not dead. He's definitely alive. He's totally fine. I thought he died too, girl. When you when everyone was talking about it, I said, it sounds like he's dead. But go ahead. I thought he had died. Um, I, I started freaking out. I texted him. I think you're fucking dead in a ditch somewhere. Like, what the fuck is going on? Um, because he had never gone that long without communication. However, that was just the beginning of it. Um, as... We moved into December. He had a, a family issue and needed to go back to the UK. He made he managed to go back to the UK and then come back um, to Africa. Well, during that time span, um, you know, we left him alone. We didn't want anybody to bother him so that he could have his family time, etc. Um, with all of that, um, he essentially in the middle of the night decided that he was going to go back to Africa, did not tell his staff, did not tell his managers. Um, we heard it from other people that he was going back to Africa. And then all of a sudden he was on his flight back. Now, let me be clear. Before that happened, he had the money to pay us. We are, we came up with the deal that we would be paid by the 20th, no matter what, because that gives enough time. If there are any issues, that he will absolutely pay us by the 20th of every single month. Um, he had the money on the 12th of December. We knew that he had the money. He lied and he told another member of staff that he sent me the money. Well, she comes asking me where her paycheck is. And, of course, I don't, I don't have it. And I sent her the same screen recording that I sent you. I mean, it was fresh at that time um, of my transfer account that it's not hit. This is not something that's happened. Um, and so she goes and she asks him, hey, what's going on? You know, you said you sent Sybil the money, but she doesn't have it yet. And I messaged him at the same time. He refuses to speak to her now because she told on him to me. Um, he told someone in the UK, one of his like actual real life friends, that he had sent me the $20,000 that he owed the staff members. That is not including the recruiters or the, um, or the host incentives. Um, but, he, <laughs> but he hadn't. And so I've had to send that screen recording out 
I've had to screen record that several times of me refreshing my TransferWise account, but that is the last money that I have received from him. Was November 24th for the staff. Um, in December, he left. He went back to Africa. On his travel back to Africa, there are connecting flights between the UK and Africa. He swears up and down that his UK account is locked for fraud because um, he used his account, his, his card in Turkey. Um, I think that's total bullshit, me personally. I think it's bullshit as someone who travels through there frequently, um, who did not have this problem the last time he flew, th flew through there. Um, he would have let his bank know or had some sort of stipulation in place, most banks do, to get that unlocked if you're in a foreign country. Um, however, that's that's not what he... So January payday rolls around. I'm trying to make this quick. As January pay, payday rolls around, I have already contacted Bigo about the situation. I've already got to our accounts manager and said, so this is what's going on. The staff are about to quit. We're at our wit's end. This is an ongoing situation. We so how many, staff, how many staff do, do you have? How many staff do you have? We have five staff members, and I had to get rid of all of our recruiters and not allow them to recruit anymore because we could not. And we were up to about 20 recruiters. Okay, um, you have 20 recruiters you pay. Five staff, including yourself, and 250 plus, hosts. Correct. So we have host incentives for everyone that hits a certain pay tier. They all get incentives. And the moment we rolled that out, um, he disappeared. That was at that same time. So none of the hosts have received those. Um, so in January, I met with the accounts manager. She said, okay, to keep her updated, etc. cetera. Um, she stayed in contact with me. Um, now, mind you that the UK already only talks to me, that the US already only talks to me, um, myself and the marketing manager. Um, we already have that relationship with the account managers, which most staff of agencies don't have. Um, as far as most staff with the agencies, they, the agent themselves contacts the accounts manager and that's it. That, they handle all of that. Um, that is not the case here. Um, because Hood would say things like, well, the accounts manager has not gotten back to me or, oh, well, I don't know because I, I haven't received an email back about it. Now, when I contact her, she messages me back within a few days. Um, if I call her, she answers. So everything that he says to me that what I realized was that everything that he said to me over the last last year was complete bullshit essentially um and I, I don't have a nicer way to put that i would love to be more professional about that but I, I don't have anything else um we didn't our agency had never been offered like the agency newsletters that you receive mm -hmm. we had never seen those or the information inside of those we never saw those for a year for a year we didn't have those she started sending me those. Um, anyway, so January comes around, payday comes around, he pops back up again, which has now become a pattern. He pops okay. back up again. He says, okay, well, yes, Sybil, you're right. Absolutely. I know you guys don't trust me. I'm going to send it to your account, the first pool, and then whatever I need, I'll take from the second pool. And that's fine. Um, we were good with that and until January payday when it should have actually hit the account came around and no money hit and he was finally like no Sybil I didn't send it to yours I sent it to my frozen UK bank <laughs> because I thought I'd be back in the UK by then in February we went over the same thing um, he was we demanded that if he did not send it to my account that we would all quit and, and he said that he would he said that he did, and then it came out later that he did not, that he sent it to his account, and here we are. Now we're here, and that's okay. That so part. you said that. So right. where did the where did the where did the accusation that he when he went live he was sending it to Bunny Ranch girls come from? Right. So all of that came to my hosts. My host came to me and said, "Look, so we've been seeing Hood around." 
So why is he not here? Why is he not contacting? Why is he not doing anything? Why is he not sending us gifts? We're seeing that, but we know that we're owed all these incentives. And I see him throwing on other people, so why are we not getting them? That's how I found out about it. So um, he, okay, so that? this is, so we have over, so $8,000 that's owed to you, and in total over $35,000 that is owed to your whole staff, mm -hmm. including yourself. The staff, the recruiters, and the host incentives, yes. Over 35. Now, what has Beagle, now, now you said that Beagle has reached out to him. What is Beagle contacting him? and said or reached out and sent him so bigo said to him that if he has they did the prevention uh cure and whatever they did the cure plan for l m um that he has 15 days from march 1st to contact bigo and make a correction for his agency now he'll need all new staff he'll need a, a game plan for recruiting for recruiting social media etc None of which he can provide at this particular moment. And the only reason that I'm going public with this is because he will come back for payday. He will see that email. And he will absolutely attempt to swindle people into working for him. And that's wow. something that that's something that we can't have. He's going to say things like, I want a thousand hosts by yada yada. I will pay you guys whatever you want up front. He will say whatever he can to so, continue with that money if he's got that opportunity. And so he, so right now, right now, what's happening with the, the hosts in this agency is basically you guys are saying just stand on, be on standby because a lot of them have come to me and been like, Robert, I want you, I want you. And I'm telling them, which is why I'm doing this opportunity. So you guys are currently in the process of recommending them agencies to go to because yes. the inevitable is coming, basically, that Beagle said, because yes. he's not going to respond to that. So that's what that's where we're at. Yes. So I have here's what I have told my host. And I've been very clear with my host that in 15 days, when he doesn't reply, the process will start and they will have time to find an agency and to start shopping my hosts have been told very specifically that they are not to make a commitment yet to any agency because they need to shop they need to listen because it, the whole reason that we are all stuck in this situation is we all spoke to someone with a real silver tongue and it sounded real good on paper but that's not what happened and I need them to be wary that other agency that other agency recruiters may do exactly the same thing. And I don't mean to dog anybody. Please, you guys don't take it like I'm dogging anybody. But my hosts have been through a whole fucking lot. And yes, they are my yeah. hosts. I've been caring for them for a year. And you are you are you are I also am. a host under this agency as well, are you not? I am. I am. Okay. Hold up, Sybil. Stay right there, baby. Stay right there. Okay. So you heard it first from the camel's mouth. In about 15 days, the process will start with over 250 hosts, over 100 active hosts of that 250, where they are already being told to shop around. So that's why after this is finished, if you would like to come up and promote your agency, because a lot of them are in the queue, as well as a lot of them are in this room. If you would like to promote your agency, it costs five shields for me for two minutes to promote who you are, along with or a dragon for five minutes. I'm going to bring up Beanie right now, and I see some of the hosts that are in the agency. Beanie, come on up here, baby. Beanie, are you in here? Okay. Who also was owed money by this person, and I'm going to let her speak her piece. Go ahead. Okay. So with Hood, this is my situation. So I was under, well, I wasn't under a different agency. I was supposed to be up under a different agency, but there was a glitch with Bego itself to where I didn't have live data. So I ended up having to go to a new agency. Now I had did business with him in the first month that I was on the app. And and he basically told me, if you come to me, then that month that you lost, because I invested like 1200 my first month, the, not on this page, on a different page, thinking that I was a host. Um, so he was like, if you come to me, then I'll pay you for that whole first month that you missed. So I said, okay. And I came to him off of what he said. 
Now, I went through some personal issues to where I needed that money. So after so many months of him not giving it to me, I started pressing him because I, I really didn't care about it. And then once it became dire, I was like, okay, will you promise me this? I need this money. So I kept calling him, calling him, texting him. And I came in right when he went to Africa, what she was talking about back in June. So I came in right when he went to Africa and he switched numbers several times, stopped answering and everything. And I was at Sybil's throat because I was like, where is this man? I need to talk to our agency owner and we can't get in contact with him. So I'm messaging and messaging him. He finally messages me back through another friend and says, I'll send it to you. Um, well, I'll send it to Sybil. So I'm waiting on my money from Sybil, which he tells me that he sent it to her through PayPal, I think it was. And I'm, <laughs> I went to the bunny's auction because I just wanted to see a light show. And I see Hood come through on the VIP lion and start what? dropping dragons on the bunny. What? And I got livid. Yes, I was pissed because he owes me money. So I was like, why is he avoiding me and saying that he doesn't have internet? He said he was in Africa. They would not allow him internet access because they I'm were doing kidding. voting. So I was pissed. So I come at Sybil because I'm like, okay, at this point, he says you have my money. I just want my money, okay, because I'm not dealing with him no more. And she's like, I don't have your money. And me and her kind of got into it because she thought I was lying. And I had to send her a full screen recording of the whole entire conversation with, with Hood, um, where he specifically told me, and she can vouch for this, that he told me he sent my money to her, which was a complete lie. And then he went off the radar again. And I haven't heard from him since. And I just okay. gave up. All right. Thank you, Beanie. Just, okay. Just a second. Oh, my. Oh my, this is a lot, okay. Linda, you are one of the hosts as well in this agency that is shopping around. Go ahead, Linda. Go ahead, Linda. Linda, go ahead. Can y'all give me the 300? Go ahead, Linda. Oh. Oh, okay. So Sybil and Beanie, we are currently at the point where we have all of, now Sybil and Beanie, Sybil, you are one of the staff and Beanie, you were one of the, you, were you one of the staff in this large agency as well? No, I'm just a host. Okay, you're just a host. And Sybil, you are one of the staff. The other five staff that you do have, um, are they hosts under this agency as well? Yes, all of them. We are all hosts under him. So are you guys Chioma, all planning can you, bring, the can you bring Chioma up? Chief Chioma, she is our rock star host. Oh, so she was so she's also been affected by this. Okay. Okay, just a second. Just a second, ladies. Oh my. Go ahead, Chief. So um it's emotional because I know it's, I'm not even trying to do this for shits and giggles. I'm not even trying to do this for clout or anything like that. Yeah. But it makes me really emotional because we have so many amazing people on in this agency for all walks of life and we've all built this crazy bond we've gone through crazy shit together when Bigo didn't like the first month I came into the to the app Bigo didn't pay our agency till the 15th that was the fir my first month which was March of last year yesterday was my um my one year Bigo anniversary I'm his number one host and I'm not trying to say this for no other reason but the fact that when I hit two million tier nothing happened I didn't even get a high five, girl. Nothing. I don't know. When I... It's okay. Not from him. Don't worry. Not from him. Because the thing is, we've gone through hell with this man. When his parents were sick, we had his back. When he went to Tanzania to build his house and he was showing off how beautiful his house was, we were cheering him on. When he showed us his brand new sound system that was state of the art, we were cheering him on. When he was going and traveling from place to place to place during COVID, we like, damn, you lit. Like we would yeah, hype, we would hype him up because we were so proud that our agency owner was from a white guy from the UK with the name Hood, and he had all walks of life: gay, straight, lesbian, trans, everything you could think of. He's had in this agency. It's 250 of us, and all we're asking is for him to step up, like he's supposed to. All we're asking for you, we don't even. I don't give a fuck about you dropping incentives or none of that. Just be there. Just fucking be there. And so when I see him under multiple fucking accounts in different people's lives dropping like Daddy Warbucks, I'm like, what the fuck? You're dropping what we made you on other people. 
I don't give a fuck about any ranch, this ranch, that guy. It doesn't matter. You are you're a grown man. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't care. I'm not hating on it. Get it how you live. But I'm saying, if we're the ones making you the money, show us some type of respect. Show us some type of respect. You have multiple fucking accounts all over level 50. If he had one account, he'd probably level 80. All of his accounts, all of them, are millions dropped. So he has money. I don't know what the fuck he's doing with it, but he has it. At the end of the day, the last time I spoke to him, he was on somebody's panel, dropping on the whole panel. He was in Tanzania. He was supposed to be coming to, back to the UK, and all of a sudden he could not find... That's it. The visa or whatever the fuck was going on, but I'm saying like, but you showing me your fucking bomb ass house in the middle of Africa. What? He showed me piles of cash, piles I'm of cash. The thing about it's it's the slap in the face for me. It's the slap in my in the face for me. You have 250 hosts that are riding for you, that rep you hard, and you not even saying, bro, you, damn, you hit a million. Here's a shield. But I'm seeing you trick off. Why? Why? Well, the best thing we can do here is I have a plethora. Hold up, I'm gonna mute you. Stay right there, lady. Stay right there. The best thing that we can that, that we can do here is I have a plethora of agency owners that are gonna come up and tell you guys who they are. And the best thing that I think we can all do is just prepare for the inevitable, as Sybil said, and shop around with a plethora of people and see what you guys want to do because there's 250 of y'all. And y'all need places to go. And there's a lot of y'all hitting the million tiers. And y'all need to be taken care of. So the best thing to do moving forward is, you know, just I, it sucks. And I hate to say it, but this is why I'm doing what I'm doing today. So that you guys have options with people that you can hear from along with those 250 other people. So you guys can, you know, go somewhere. And, and you because the best thing to do that you guys can do is just continue doing what you're doing. Make sure you get your coins. And I hate to say this because Beagle puts us in a position where, you know, it's hard to do, but that's, go ahead, baby. Can I say one more thing? Thank Absolutely. you so much for, for fucking working for us for free for months. Every time we had an issue, we could hit Sybil up. She does not live in the same time zone as many of us. She'll be in the middle of the night. She'll be working for us. She'll be doing things for us. Did not know this whole time she wasn't getting paid for it. She would just relentlessly be there for all of us. So we're like her damn kids. So at the end of the day, she might be all over the place with the story. But the point of the matter is she's carried this whole entire agency on her back for the last six, seven months. So... I'm giving you your roses while you're here to smell them. Like, thank you so much. Because you didn't have to do anything. You didn't Shit, have to do anything. I want you, Sybil. I want you in my agency, girl. Anything. I want her. I'm fighting for her, y'all. I'm about Anybody to fight for her. Anybody who has Sybil in their camp, their, shit's, their shit I'm is lit. I'm about to fight for her. Go ahead, Sybil. <laughs> I wouldn't so even listen, know. Guys. I, um, Go I see some of these comments down here, like, <sighs> talking like, why isn't. Sybil starting her own agency because I didn't think I needed to and I put in my application in November if at any point it comes before then a lot of my hosts will come with me but not all of them will you guys have to remember that in the face of all this I was the bad guy and I will never blame them an ounce if they go somewhere more comfortable not an ounce okay but but I have told all of my hosts to go to one specific agency if they want to stay with me and I have not received my agency by the end of all of this and that's loyalty agency with the big guy and they all know that because with him I will never ever ever be out of touch with them. I will well, the always big guy, have the big guy you got some competition cuz I'm about to once I once in 15 <clears throat> days not even 15 days I'm trying to snatch Sybil up but we'll get to that cuz I'm trying to snatch her and Chief and Beanie these ladies is making millions, but we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Thank I'm trying to snatch up. Support. I see y'all in the comments, and I just want to thank you guys so much. I didn't even realize my numbers were what they were. I, like, swipe the comments to the side. My story's all over the place because I swear okay. to God, y'all, I've, I've done nothing but, like, scream and cry and answer okay. questions and comments. Well, let, for us, let, us, let us bring you some comfort, and I'm going to start bringing up some of these agency owners so that they can give a one minute spiel, I mean a two minute spiel um, for the ones who dropped five shields and a five minute spiel for the ones who dropped a dragon. Um, if you guys want to still come up and do that, you can. There's one, oh my God. 
Oh, gee, that's so sweet. You said there's one what? There's one last thing I do want to say. To all of my hosts that are out here looking for agencies, there's one really big important thing that we all have to worry about, and that's the 50% rule. And I need you guys to remember that if, if you're going to an agency that's on your top 10 in your contributor list, you need to be concerned with the 50% rule and that there are other options for you. Also, remember that these agencies, you're the ones making them money. Do you understand that? You are the ones making them money. You are the value here. And you make sure that whenever you cho choose an agency, that they are going to be there for you with as much money as you make them because I have some serious fucking rock stars under my belt, and I'm so proud of all of you. Okay, I'm done. Thank you, sir. I'm going to fight for your ass. All right, I'm going to drop you ladies down, and I'm going to start giving these agency owners, you ladies, and these 200 folks, these 250 hosts, plus I know a lot of them are in here watching.